then something changed. What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about my experience with hair loss. But before I get started on that, make sure to go down and hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you know when I post. But with that being said, let's get right into the video. So I've actually been bald for a year now and it's been a change for the better for me, like mentally and personally. And I first started noticing that I was having hair loss issues when I was a junior in high school. And that's a pretty young age to start experiencing hair loss. But before I actually shaved my head and went bald, I actually had some really nice, long, luscious hair. <laughs> Which is crazy because I wouldn't really take care of it besides the normal shampoo and conditioner. So because my hair was so nice and luscious, I didn't really worry about styling it or like besides always moving it just to one side. I think I had it, I had it over to this side. So my right side, literally just let it grow out and then move it over to the side. And everything down here was just a little bit shorter than what I had at the top. Although I did try the Mohawk my sixth and seventh grade year, but it's so like, it wasn't that big of a task to do my hair. Like I literally just shampooed and conditioned it, but then something changed. I could feel a little more wind on my head and in the shower, when I would go to scrub my head or my hair, there would be lots of hair on my hands coming from the top of my head. That made me realize that I was balding. I originally thought that it was just a shampoo and conditioner that I was using. Cause I mean, back in high school, I didn't know about like all these good shampoos and conditioners. Like I would just use head and shoulders. But then weeks went by and I was still losing hair. And the worst part was that I was only losing my hair at the top of my head. So everything on the side was good. I then began to feel very insecure about how I looked, especially on the way home from school, I would walk home because it was like maybe a 20 minute walk from school to home. And if it, was, if it was a windy day, I had my hair over to the side and if the wind was blowing this way, it would make my hair stand up and my you could see my scalp clearly. So then I went th all throughout my last two years of high school, just ready to go to college, get out of high school. Don't know why I thought going to college was gonna change my hair loss, but that's what my mindset was back then. But little did I know, it was gonna get a lot worse than what it already was. So I went my first two years of college feeling very insecure about how my hair looked, always wondering if the wind was blowing it or if people could see my scalp, which they could. Because when I would talk to people mid-conversation, I could just see their eyes drift to the top of my head and I'm like, I know you're looking at the top of my head right now. <laughs> I even started to grow out my hair, thinking that the longer my hair was, the less you could see my scalp. It didn't really work in my favor, cause like I said, the wind was my worst enemy. Whenever the wind would blow, especially with my long hair, hairs were just taller and you could see my scalp still. So it didn't really help at all. So finally, in the summer of my junior year of college, I decided to make a really big decision. After all the years of being worried about what people thought about my head or about feeling so insecure about just walking outside and thinking that everybody is just looking at my head and noticing that I'm a 20 year old kid with hair loss, I finally decided I was gonna shave it all off. So my wife and I decided to go and drive over to my brother's apartment because him and his wife had been very supportive of me and my whole experience with hair loss. And they even mentioned that I would look good bald. Honestly, I didn't know how to feel going into it. One side of me thought like, ah, uh, there's still that one little hope of me keeping my hair. And honestly, like, I could do a hair transplant, but I don't got the money for that. On the other side of me, I'm like, you know what? I wanna know how I look bald. Like, can I rock it? Like, how's it look? How do I feel? So it was a very emotional day for me. Um, but yeah, here's the video of me looking at myself bald for the first time. Okay, just open. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I was happy. I was happy that I didn't have to worry about hair anymore. And I, I felt relieved because I looked better than I thought I did. I'm not saying I'm this super handsome dude, but like I honestly didn't know what to expect and I looked better than what I thought I would. One of the hardest decisions I had to do because I mean, I'm 23 and bald. So I'm like at a younger age group of being bald. And like, honestly, you guys probably look at me in these videos and be like, oh, this guy is 35. And I probably do look 35, but I'm 23. But with that being said, I don't regret going bald. I would choose shaving my head every other day over feeling insecure about how my hair looked and people just staring at my head. You might think that I would feel more insecure because now I'm a bald 23 year old, but honestly, I feel free. Quite literally, because now I feel every little bit of wind that hits my head. You guys know that cool feeling of switching your pillow to the other side before you go to bed? I get that every single time. So you know I'm sleeping good after a long day of school, work, recording, 
and editing. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the story of my experience with hair loss and how that led to me completely shaving my head. But one last thing, don't be afraid to be yourself and do things that you wanna do. Insecurities can make you wanna take that step back and make you not wanna do things that will make you happy. But keep trying, there's always a way. So with that being said, if you guys liked the video, go down and hit that subscribe button. Also like the video and turn on the bell notification so you know when I post. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. What's up, everybody? Welcome. <laughs> Babe, what the f? <laughs>